Okay, everybody, well, here we are. It is August 3rd. It is the day of the Analog Pocket pre-order, or at least the first round of pre-orders worldwide for this incredibly in-demand, incredibly hyped product uh, that has really been circulating very impressively among circles that I thought we would never see uh, interested in a product like this. Like, I had people sending me the link to the Analog Pocket who do not follow video games. These are people who, you know, are maybe vaguely aware of what's happening in the world of video games. They don't own a console and they saw something in an article and I, so many people started hitting me up about this thing. So this had a general, like, even outside of the world of video games, this had a, a genuine, like, it just sort of caught fire. Uh, it kind of went viral. And so I knew at that moment that I was gonna have to really be on my game for this whole pre-order that went down about an hour and 30 minutes ago. So right now it is about 11.30 my time and at 10 a.m. my time is when uh, the Analog Pocket went on sale. And here's what seemed to happen to lots and lots of people. Um, lots of people have complained about the uh, shipping calculator getting stuck. So basically you see, you know, you, you cram all of these items into your cart, you immediately hit checkout, you immediately put in your address and then you wait, you wait. The spinning wheel happens, it's calculating uh, the shipping rate for your location. And then that seems to be the biggest point of failure uh, for this whole thing. The site itself seemed fine. I don't think that the site itself crashed or had any trouble uh, dealing with the traffic, but it was this, it was this scanning of, of the, uh, it, it was it was this calculator getting stuck, the shipping calculator getting stuck. So so many people have reported that by the time uh, that stopped and they actually got their shipping or, or they got their shipping uh, number calculated, the product was already out of their cart and out of stock. So that's a really unfortunate situation because a lot of these folks like myself uh, got in there super early. They were on their game. They were ready to order this thing. They were ready to do everything they could to make sure that their pre-order was locked down. I was one of the lucky ones. I got mine in. And I told you guys I would come back on here and tell you about what I purchased, what, what the accessories I ended up going with and all of that. I will get into that. But for now, it's important that we talk about this sort of unfortunate uh, scenario. Now, it's not surprising really, because when you have a, a product that has caught fire like this, pre-orders are going to go up. Obviously, the stock is not going to come anywhere near the demand of the product. And that's just how it is. I mean, even big, giant companies like Nintendo have stock problems. So it's not too surprising that analog during a global pandemic would have some big issues. So um, it's not surprising, but I am definitely disheartened to see this uh, go down so many people are disappointed. So many people really planned their morning around this. They were just totally on top of their game. They were so ready to add those items into their cart and immediately check out. And they did. And they still didn't get to buy it, many of them. So I'm not, I'm not gonna scroll down through all the reactions here uh, on Twitter. Uh, this is just the announcement made by Analog. This was made 15 minutes after the um, pre-order occurred. So within 15 minutes, Analog made an official statement about it being sold out. And really it sold out way sooner than that. Some people I read uh, said that it sold out within like two minutes, but I'm not sure if that's even possible. But what I can tell you is I was definitely one of the lucky ones. I had the shipping calculator get stuck on me as well. But I think maybe because I was so early, I actually got my stuff into my cart before 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time because I was like, I was kept refreshing the page and like a minute early, I noticed I could add things to my cart. So I immediately started going. I think if I had waited until 8 or 8.01, I probably would have been screwed like a lot of other people. So um, I'm happy for myself, but for a lot of other folks, unfortunately, uh, they're going to have to wait to get this thing. Now, hopefully, Analog will have more rounds of pre-orders. That's what we're hopeful for. But anyway, let's take a quick look at uh, the actual page itself. 
Now, interestingly enough, not only has uh, the pocket itself sold out, but every single accessory is sold out as well. Even down to these nano loop cables, even those sold out. How crazy is that? So a lot of people, you know, I was made the argument uh, last week that, you know, hey, it, I don't know how many people are actually going to buy this stuff. I don't know how many people are going to be uh, interested in the creation side of things with the pocket. But look at that. Every single uh, nano loop cable is sold out. So I guess I was either proven wrong or they just had severely limited stock. One or the other, I guess. Um, but I got the black one. I got the dock, of course. Really thought about getting an extra dock. One for my TV, one for my computer monitor. Didn't happen though. I kept it cool. I didn't do anything crazy. I bought the dock. I bought the hard pocket or the hard shell case. I wasn't planning on that. Um, but I did pick it up because I was like, ah, you know, it would be kind of nice to have a travel, a travel case thing on day one. That would be nice. So let's go ahead add this in the cart. Uh, so I got that 30 whole dollars. Um, and it is, like I said before, it's, it's a dust guard. It's basically to keep your analog nice and spiffy and away from any dust, which may not be as possible with a fabric case of some kind. So I didn't get the tempered glass, tempered glass uh, screen protector. I did not get an additional charging cable brick or, or uh, cable because again, those come with the dock. So that's covered. Uh, what else? And I did get the Game Gear adapter. So four items in all. It's about 377 bucks that I spent on some items that I will not be seeing until May of next year. So 10 months, excuse me, or something like that. Um, but yeah, like, uh, it, I'm, I'm excited. I, again, I'm very happy for myself, but other people were not so lucky unfortunately and I think that there's gonna be I mean I'm hopeful that the negative press isn't just out of control um, but it, it could be it could be that the negative press is uh, quite rampant we could see some pieces going up on like Kotaku or IGN or uh, Polygon or whatever uh, doing some deep dives into what may have gone wrong or maybe not maybe that's just me overreacting a little bit but I don't know, it'll be interesting to see how the coverage unravels with this whole debacle. Again, I wanna stress, of course this thing was gonna sell out quickly. Of course it was, uh, it had the marketing genius behind it. People were really excited about it. But it this, it, this went a lot worse than I was thinking it would. Um, so I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that Again, we get some extra rounds of pre-orders because there's a long time between now and May of next year. So we've got months in front of us. So hopefully, hopefully, Analog can offer a few more rounds of pre-orders so that at least a really significant chunk of the people that were really wanting this thing can get it. Um, but it looks like it may be that the Analog Pocket is just a very, very rare item uh, that's out there. And that kind of sucks. But hopefully, as time goes on, there will be more and more stock available. Um, I'm going to keep covering the analog pocket. Um, I'm not going to stop here because there's just other things I want to talk about. There's other things I want to cover with this product. So if you want to click subscribe, you know, that'd be kind of chill. I'm, I'm not really, um, I'm not a known YouTuber, as you may have noticed. Uh, I'm trying to sort of get this channel uh, off the ground and just sort of see what happens, see if people are interested in what I'm doing here. If you hit the like, you hit the subscribe, that'll go a long way in giving me that motivation to keep things going because it'll it'll get, get it in front of the eyes of more people. So that's what we're going for. But yes, definitely gonna be covering more of the analog pocket. Uh, but that's really all there is to say this morning about what's gone down. Um, could have been better, but I'm still thankful that I was able to get my order secured. So anyway, guys, thanks for checking me out.